about the restaurant owners asking customers to fill the city coffers. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Kelly Bartnick explores those questions tonight. He's live with Restaurant Reaction. Kelly. Craig, the tax initially brought in much more than expected, making it even more valuable. And the fight against it was fierce. We talked with restaurant owners tonight who say customers have quieted about the tax, even though it's still on the table. Petro's in Omaha has served its way through all sorts of storms the past 50 years, including one handed down from City Hall in 2010. It's emotional. It changes customers' habits. It gets people to budget. And when people go out five times, five times a month, they cut it back to three times a month, that directly comes out of my pocket. The restaurant tax came at a bad economic time. Nick Petro weathered the policy. Customers have kept coming. Petro doesn't like the tax, eliminating wiggle room in his bottom line. There will be a time when it does make sense to rebuild a restaurant tax. Mayor Stothert said the same thing today before presenting her 2015 budget, where the restaurant tax continues to fill gaps. Her administration predicts it will bring in 29 million next year, 1 million more than this year. You know, I don't want to shift from one tax to another. What I want to do is broaden the tax base, meaning more businesses and people paying into it, and then being able to lower it for everyone. That makes more fiscal sense. Mayor Stothert said that's why she's cutting property taxes, the first drop in 14 years, also a campaign promise. I'm not saying that we're ignoring the restaurant tax. But I'm saying at this point in time, that's what we decided to do. The day that she doesn't have a good reason for it, I think, is probably the day that organizations start to get a little bit upset and would get involved. Right now, the way things are going, I think she's pretty safe from that. Jeremy Aspen led the campaign to recall former Mayor Jim Suttle. He says it's too early to say Stothert is getting a free pass on the restaurant tax issue, believing reductions could still come. While it's not in one fell swoop, it is happening gradually, and I think most people that were involved in the recall do see um, that it's coming, that that change is coming. Meanwhile, Petro waits for the day it ends, even if for at least one more year, his customers have to pay it. We just have to get enough city council members on the, uh, on the, on the board, and that will happen. The public will have an opportunity to weigh in on the entire city budget in August. Meantime, you can have a look at it with this story on our website, KMTV.com. Reporting live downtown tonight, Kelly Bartnick, KMTV Action 3 News.